We go all the way back to June the 1st of the year 2023. And yes, the Milwaukee Admirals are playing hockey into June in the conference finals, taking on the Coachella Valley Firebirds in game four of the Western Conference final best of seven series. And the Rebirth Sports full game recap starts just 29 seconds into game four. And Olufsen's shot is stopped by Cooley. And then we are going to stop the game for a long time. Uh, if it wasn't for uh, the viewer's sanity, I would do the joke of just pausing pausing for the entire length that this review took, but even this seems awkward and lengthy, and trust me, there was another several minutes to go. At the end of all of that, it was determined to be no goal on the rebound, put back just 29 seconds in. So basically, we restart the game, and at 59 seconds into the first period, it's court coming up with Sabon off and off. Yeah, it's the first shot on goal of the game for the Milwaukee Admirals. 447 of the first period. It's Cooley coming up with save on Lynn, but at 513 of the first period, Schulte coming up with his fifth goal of the playoffs for Coachella Valley, giving them a 1-0 lead. Firebirds pick up the goal on a long shot with heavy traffic in front of that Coachella Valley, now leading Milwaukee one to nothing, just 5-13 into the first period, 8-25 into the first period. It's Decord coming up with a save on Gravel. But at the 10-minute even mark, it's Philip Tomasino's second goal of the playoffs. The shot ricochets over the shoulder of Decord just as you draw it up. Tomasino's second goal of the playoffs gives Milwaukee Admirals their first goal of the game, tying the game up at one apiece with the Firebirds. At 10-55 of the first period, it's Cooley coming up with a save on Rafferty. 11-41, Cooley comes up with a save on Lynn. 13-41. Kache and Stastny off to the box. Two minutes each. That leads to a four on four at 15 12. We would see Willsby off to the box. Two minutes for interference. Cooley would have to come out with a save on McCormick. Then Cooley would come out with another save on Lynn at 19 41 of the first. Lynn would be off to the box. Two minutes for goaltender interference. Just absolutely running Cooley here at the end of the first period, trying to get in his head, trying to throw him off his game, trying to get him uncool. He's not that kind of character. He wouldn't fall for it. Penalty would carry over into the second period. The shots on goal in the first period would be 12-11 in favor of Coachella Valley. One goal apiece, of course. The carryover is 141 in the second period on the clean sheet, and that's where Joey Decord is going to work. And Joey Decord's coming up with a save on Sherwood. Then Decord's coming up with a save on Ratcliffe with Afanasiev's follow-up. But then Ratcliffe's third goal of the playoffs comes as a result of solid traffic by Philip Tomasino and some close-range jam. There were a lot of sticks in there. As a matter of fact, at first, the goal was misidentified. Later, true to Radcliffe, his third of the playoffs. 2-1 to one now in favor of Milwaukee. 2-0-1, though, into the second period. It's Wichow, his third goal of the playoffs. Long shot through a strong screen. Again, this seems to be one area, one way that they're finding their way to Cooley. The second time in this game, long shot through some heavy traffic with a good screen. This was tough, tough, tough hockey to see right here. Very good battle going on in front of Cooley. 2-2 two two is the hockey game now in the second Second period, just 201 in 319 in the second period. It's Cooley coming up with a save on Petman 540. Decord comes up with a save on Afanasiev. A 620. Decord, a save on McEwen. 737. Decord comes up with a save on Willsby. 737 is also the time when Wicho picks up a penalty. Two minutes for slashing, but Luke Evangelista is also going to be heading off to the box shortly after that. Two minutes for holding, circumventing that power play. That special teams exchange would come and it would go in a 1048. Uh, the second period would be Lynn picking up a penalty. Two minutes for tripping. Decord would have to come up with a save on Evangelista's breakaway out of the box right here. Evangelista, great opportunity to put the puck into the net right there. Campbell's going to score on the power play for the Admirals. It's his eighth goal from the left circle delivered immediately to the top corner on the right-hand side of the net. Campbell's eighth of the season leads the Milwaukee Admirals and puts the Milwaukee Admirals back in the lead. 3-2 over Coachella Valley. 12-9 of the second period. It's Cooley coming up with a save. On Hayden, 15-39. Why not? Cooley, another save. This time on Evans, 16-45. Cooley back to work with a save on Rafferty. We are over to the backside of the sheet to find at 17-28 of the second period. It's Ratcliffe heading off to the penalty box for four total minutes. Two separate individual minors. The Admirals, PK, would have to go to work, and they certainly would. Cooley would come up with a save on Lynn, then Cooley would come up with another save on Hughes. We'd hit the intermission. One of the power plays is expired. Now, the second one would carry over for 128 into the third period, but before we get that, yep, I'm putting up a stop sign. Uh, the Coachella Valley Firebirds are out shooting the Milwaukee Admirals 23 to 22 after 40 minutes of hockey. Now, to that carryover of 128, we would find the 
Admirals going to work. It would be McCarran's shorthanded goal that was set up by Jankowski. This setup was just simply, that's what we like to call on this show, world-class distribution. And Mark Jankowski was running that desk like an expert tonight. McCarran, his third of the playoffs, shorthanded, puts Milwaukee up 4-2 to two over Coachella Valley. 337 of the third period. Decord comes up with a save on Sherwood. 439, Decord a save on Thompson. But then at 625, Cooley a save. Save on Schultz, 816. Thompson is off the box. Two minutes for hooking. Devin Cooley is about to clock in for some significant work right here. A save on Lind. A save on Hughes. Another save on McKen. And Cooley is just doing the work right here. Then at 1426, Cooley continues doing the work. This time a save on True. 1622, Cooley. Another save on Tronsky. And 1718, Afanasiev was headed towards the empty net on a breakaway. A penalty would have awarded him a penalty shot since there's no goalkeeper in the net. He is just awarded directly a goal, even though it would be fun to watch a player take a penalty shot on an empty net. Who knows? We all saw Craig Smith miss an empty net from less than three feet away one time. You never know what could happen. But in this case, the goal is awarded, uh, though there was quite a bit of confusion. Afanasiev is awarded the goal, his fourth of the playoffs. That gives Milwaukee a 5-2 to two lead. That would be your final, the shots on goal, 32-26 for Coachella Valley. So the Admirals only generating four shots on goal in the third period, uh, even though they uh, did have a two-goal lead for the majority of the period and they had a three-goal lead there late in the period. Now, uh, before we finish up the recap, we have to talk about what happened at the 20-minute mark. Mark. There were a couple of minor penalties assessed, but that truly it doesn't tell the story. Uh, if you had to kind of stick with it to see what happened. Kemmel appears to have been hit at the very end of the game. It was off camera, and there was not a truly good description of what happened. But the Admirals certainly were pissed about what had happened. Michael McCarron was seeming to take it the most personal, and uh, he was looking to fight everyone on Coachella Valley. The, the two teams basically just stood around on the ice, uh, chirping back and forth, and every once in a while, it was almost like a pro wrestling uh, scrum where one guy would try to break away from the pull apart, but the officials stayed between them. Michael McCarron had to be uh, escorted, hugged, bear hugged and, and and moved off the ice uh, but it, it kept on going for a few minutes but it finally did subside and uh, I don't believe there's going to be any disciplinary action uh, to be honest with you what it is is just really good good heat building uh, for game five and for the best of three Western Conference Finals uh, these two teams had never played each other before this series had begun and now after game four, there's uh, there's beginning to have that healthy dislike that comes from repetitive competition, uh, especially with high stakes on the line. So at the end of tonight's game, uh, you saw the Milwaukee Admirals certainly not shying away and looking for a, a bit of a fight there after the game. Coachella also not backing down. It's good to see the two teams there facing off against each other. After four games of hockey played, those two teams basically faced off at center ice and stared at each other and said, yeah, let's go. And I love it. Love it. Western Conference, AHL playoffs, now a best of three. That was the Rebirth Sports full game recap. We've got so much more coming up on the Renegades of Puck podcast right after this.